When I was asked to uh, guest host tonight, uh, one of my first requests was that I have another very close friend of mine on uh, two close friends, uh, Billy Crystal and Harry Shearer. Uh, a lot of you, I know, uh, you watch The Tonight Show and then you fall asleep, you go to sleep right after, you don't stay tuned for The Tomorrow Show after that. So uh, uh, Billy and Harry are going to give you a little preview of what you might see on The Tomorrow Show if you stay up. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Tomorrow Program, coming to you here from Burbank, the heart of Southern California. <laughs> Let me say right here at the outset that we are very sorry about what happened on yesterday morning's program with Mrs. Uh, Stephen Bates of Fresno, California. Her husband wrote, uh, called our office this morning, and apparently she was watching the show. We had Yuri Geller, the famous uh, psychic, on the program. And uh, when Yuri started going to his bit where he bends the silverware and, and, and fixes the broken stopwatches or whatever he does with his mind, uh, Mrs. Bates was apparently sitting too close to the television and her pacemaker went bluey and they had a pretty rough morning of it. All I can say at this point is hang on, Mrs. Bates, because we're going to get Yuri Geller back here on the program on Tuesday, is it, Scotty? Yes, sir, on Tuesday morning. And if you can get the people at the hospital to prop you up next to the bed, we will hope for the best, okay? <laughs> All right, now we are being joined here this morning by a, probably the most well-known boxer in the history of professional sports. He is two-time heavyweight champion of the world. He was originally known by a name he chose not to keep. He is now known by a name he has chosen to keep, and I will call him that name because if I did not, he is a very big gentleman, and he probably could beat the clock out of me. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but it's one o'clock in the morning. Anyway, welcome to the program, Muhammad Ali. Hi, it's Tom Snyder. You know, it's a pleasure to be on your show it's so early. Everybody gets up late. Everybody do different things. But it's a pleasure to be on your show. You know, come up here and fall asleep. I'll tell you something, Mohammed. I've been waiting to get you in that chair for about four years out here. You well, know I'm that? I'm waiting to get you in the ring, Tom Snyder. I, I, you, know, you, you worry, but I box your ears back. We are your ears, Tom Snyder. You, <laughs> you ain't got no ears. No, sir. We just moved out to Burbank from New York City. They're probably in a carton somewhere. We haven't unpacked them yet. But uh, after seeing you fight Evangelista, I probably should get in the ring with you because the legs looked a little bit rubbery. You know what I mean? What are you talking about, Tom Snyder? You know what I mean? Say I'm slowing down. Everybody say I'm slowing down. I'm still fast. I'm still so pretty. <laughs> Pretty Tom, 35 years good old, looking, and a mark yes, on sir. my face. I yes, look sir. so good, you know, I'm fast. I can turn out the lights in my bedroom, be in the bed before the room gets dark. Okay. <laughs> Muhammad, we could sit here and joke and, and, and tell poetry to each other, but you've been through a lot of big changes in your life, and, and, and the religion, and the name, and the, 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 up, and the up and down in your career. I understand you've been through another big change this morning. You want to talk about it seriously? Go ahead. Sure, Tom. <laughs> I'm announcing tonight that I'm changing my name again because I got new religious beliefs. Yeah, see, from tonight on, I want to be known as Izzy Yiskowitz. It has, a, it has a kind of a Jewish ring to it, you know what, what I mean? A, kind of. I'm a Hasidic Jew, Izzy Chaim Yiskowitz. Chaim? That stands for Chaim the Greatest. <laughs> Good to see you haven't changed your sense of humor, even with your name and your religion. Jews have always had a sense of humor. You I, know, I've I noticed that. That's true. Yeah. I imagine changing your religion is kind of a, a major event in your life. You had a lot of study and a lot of preparation for it. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure, Tom. You know, as I studied, I read books, read the Talmud, the Torah, did all those things, and then I went through a ceremony mm -hmm. that the young Jewish baby, male babies, go through yes, sir. when they's born. Yes, sir. That was the toughest part. <laughs> I couldn't train for a week. <laughs> but it was important to me, Tom. You know, it's a big thing in my life. Well, sir, I guess it's not quite as big a thing now, huh? <laughs> What's he saying? No, I, I, I kid you. I, I, I kid you only because I see you with Cosell, and he's always kidding me. I want to talk about how Cosell. You okay. said, talk about how Cosell. How Cosell's ugly. He got yes. worse hair than you do. How <laughs> Cosell. He get a live bobcat on top of his head. <laughs> Mohammed, they say you're not the same man you was ten years ago. I don't talk about how cool sell. Okay, we won't talk about how cool sell. Let's talk about you, and I imagine if you change your religion, you change a lot of other things about your life. Everything's like, different, Tom. Keeping a kosher training camp now. I got, <laughs> you know, I, see, I got two sets of boxing gloves. What's that? <laughs> The, the meat and the dairy? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. See, and I'm doing different things. I mean, I used to do rope a dope, Sherman mm -hmm. Tank, sure. Ali Shuffle. Mm -hmm. I got a new thing called the Jerusalem Shuffle. Okay. 
Uh, what, what, what does that consist of? Well, it's Jewish boxing. You don't hit the guy. You just make him feel guilty. <laughs> Why don't you pretend that this is, this is the, uh, the ring and, and you got Herbert Muhammad over there? You know. uh, his name is now Phil Goldberg. Okay, good morning to you. Well, I guess and, uh, they all came over. Drew Bundina Brown, uh, the, the Drew Bundina Brown, that's Irv Levitt's there. Okay, hi, Irv. Uh, you brought them all with you, huh? Yeah. Show us what Jewish boxing looks like right here. Maybe. Over like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I okay. get up. This Jewish boxing just make him feel guilty. Bomb right. around him, looking good, looking fast, looking pretty. Got my legs going good. Sure. Just make that fat guy feel guilty. Go, hey, you sucker. When was the last time you called your mama? <laughs> <laughs> See? Then they feel guilty. Uh -huh. Maybe the guy go to psychiatrist, report noise, complain, something like that. And do. Then they feel bad. I give him a zest. Boom. They go down. Olive base, gimel down, chestis, and mecha salt. Out. Out. You better look out, Kenny Dawn. I'm going to do a Shabbat Shalom on your head. You, you know what, 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 what occurs to me is that... What, 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 what? <laughs> I kid you. You, know, you kid cool me guy. and I kid you. Uh, but what occurs to me is that there, there haven't been very many Jewish athletes, you know? It's well, kind of a delicate subject, I guess, but it's just the Jewish people have not tended to go in for that sort of activity. Well, we used to, know you know, is. supply the uniforms and sure, stuff like that. Sure, in the front office. Yeah. See, for most of the we had a couple of Jewish, great Jewish, Hank Greenberg, who played baseball. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Sandy Koufax. Yes, sir. He was pitching here when I was doing the news in Philadelphia. That's right. I had Sandy Koufax. We had, we had some other Rod Carew. Rod Carew's, this is the truth. Rod Carew's a Minnesota, he's a Minnesota quadruple. He, mm -hmm. He's going to hit 400 this year. Yes, sir. But for you, 395. So, <laughs> it's kind of like a Jewish joke. Check it green backstage. You say, hey, you go out give me that joke. Pants for, for, for you, $1.98, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, Phil, what's he talking about? <laughs> you can check it with Phil afterwards. Listen, let's get down to basics here. A lot of people want to know whether this is genuine, whether this is heartfelt, whether this is the kind of thing that's just a stunt or a gimmick. And most important, because you're going to get back in the ring sooner or later, they want to know, is this change in religion and outlook going to help you? Couldn't hurt. <laughs> well, sir, there is more truth than poetry there, and I guess, uh, well... We, I got we to read a poem. I got my bar for poem. We I don't have a lot of time for it. I'm be, Joe Fraser was not a Jew. Mm -hmm. Kenny Norton's a Gentile, too. We do have... I don't like their looks. They both look like schnooks. Baruch, I taught, I don't know. Okay. Well, that is, on that note, a Yiddish or Jewish or whatever that is, we do. It's Jezlis. Jezlis? Jezlis. It's a combination of Muslim and Jewish. It's Jezlis. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, Izzy Yiskowitz, I guess a lot of the local news guys are going to have trouble remembering that, but Izzy, and he is. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. And now for all the people who work the late, late shift here in the heart of Southern California. Thank you and shalom, everybody. <laughs> We'll be right back after this commercial. Stay tuned.